You don't want to use cursor and you want to keep your data locally. I've got a solution for you. This is using Claude Dev with the very recent update where they support Olama models. So in this video, we're going to use uh, Claude Dev or learn how to use Claude Dev, which is a Visual Studio Code extension with Olama models, completely keeping our data locally, not sending it to any server. And we're going to try to code something. So if you have seen my cursor series, cursor is for people who want to, let's say, make sophisticated code and you want to pay a subscription fee. But if you want to just start out, if you want to just try, this is a very good option for you, where you just try with local models. And again, it supports open AI compatibility. That means you can do much beyond than local models. The only disclaimer here is that it's not going to be like tremendously amazing in terms of the quality because we are using Olama model. But I want to show you the capabilities of Claude Dev for you to explore a different tool other than cursor. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just install cursor, uh, sorry, install Claude Dev, my bad, uh, too much of cursor. I am assuming that you have got Visual Studio Code installed. You have got Olama installed. If you do not have Visual Studio Code or Olama, I would strongly encourage you to go to Google or DuckDuckGo, anywhere you go to search, download these two softwares, install it, very straightforward, not a big deal. After you do that, now is the time. I'm going to link this in the YouTube description. You can go install Claude Dev. It's an open library, open source, MIT licensed Visual Studio Code extension. You can build this locally if you want, but you can also go install from Visual Studio Code extension marketplace. The South is one is a creator. Thanks to South for creating this. Click install and it's going to open from Visual Studio Code and it is actually opening from Visual Studio Code. As you can see here, go to click install and it is already installed. So now we have successfully installed Claude Dev. Uh, they've got a discord. If you want to join the name Claude Dev itself suggests that this is to the maximum alpha of this particular extension if you use a Claude 3.5 Sonnet. But we want to use open models and then see what is possible. That's why we are using it with this. So now after I do this, I'm going to just go here and close it. We're not going to talk about Claude Dev at this point. We're going to move to the next section, which is to use a Olama model. The kind of Olama models that you can use with Claude Dev are the models that support tool usage. So how do you find models that support tool usage? Go to Olama, click view all the models. And once you do that, you can see a small section here tools. Once you click that, you'll see all the models that support tool usage. This is very important because it's not like you can use any model. You need models that support a tool usage if you use Olama endpoint. But let's say you're using LM Studio, you're using Jan. Maybe that is a totally different topic if you want to use open AI compatible uh, endpoint. But if you were to specifically use Olama, this is mandatory for you. So pick one of the models. In my case, I've picked this particular model whose podcast we listened a couple of weeks back. So this is uh, Ashwini Jindal's Llama 3.1 Storm model. It's an extension of Llama 3.1, which is ideally supposed to have better tool usage. I've already downloaded the model very simply. I'm going to copy this I literally go back to my terminal here and then just say Olama run and the model name here. So technically when you do this, it's going to download the model. After you download the model, the first thing that you should do is just like try run some random thing, create a tweet about how one little coder is a shitty programmer. Um, okay. Let's see if, oh, seriously, Lama. That's me. That's, that's, that's me. That's okay. Yeah. No, no. Hey everyone. I wanted to share an update about our community. <laughs> okay. It doesn't want to criticize me. That's okay. It's a derogatory or harmful towards individual like me. Anyways, the model works fine. We're going to go back to visual studio code. I'm going to open my visual studio code. Once I open my visual studio code at this point, I've not initiated any project. But what I typically like to do is I would like to go to my terminal and exit this. Okay. I'm going to exit this. And I usually like to create a folder, like a project folder and then enter into the folder. I'm going to do MKDIR. So let's call it a snaky, maybe snacky, snaky. Okay. It's, it seems like everybody wants to create a snake game. Okay. I've entered there. code dot. That's going to open a visual studio code. Yes, I trust the authors. Now I'm going to do command shift P. After I do command shift P, you can see there's a show Claude dev option here. 
So I'm gonna go with the show cloud dev option here. I've like already done a bunch of testing before. Now the first thing is you have to click the gear icon. After you click the gear icon, you select the models. You've got a bunch of options here. Like I said, the open AI compatible one where you have to enter the URL API key model ID. If you use Jan, if you use LM Studio, you could probably use this. I'm going to go ahead with Olama. And inside Olama, this is the model. So how do you know the model name? You go literally here, the model that you ran, come back here and paste it. If the model is accepted, it will not throw you any error. If not, it will throw you an error saying that you need tool usage. Let's click done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you open inside the folder. Let's see. Yes, we are inside snaky and I'm going to invoke cloud dev and I'm going to open cloud dev here as a new file. You can do any chart that you want. I'm going to just simply say that uh, create a simple HTML based snake game. That's all I'm going to say. I've sent this. So we're going to make APA request. Um, it uses a sort of infinite uh, a call. So like for example, if you were to use Claude dev, so it uh, basically what it does is it continuously tries to prompt and then get the response back until whatever you have done. Another good thing with Claude dev, which uh, a lot of people like on cursor is also the diff. So you can review, review the code, existing code, and then do the diff edit. So it shows you what was before, what is after. So it's very easy for you to make that understanding. So it says, okay, it's got, you have got, Seriously, I'm not sure if it is with this model. What we are going to do now is we're going to change the model. I'm going to change this to Llama 3.1. Click done. And I'm going to start a new task. Okay. I should create a simple file index.html. Okay, I've created an index.html file. Now I've got an index.html file. And I'm going to now ask Claude Dev. Let's see. Start a new task update my index.html html to show a simple snake simple hangman game maybe let's try a different game maybe snake is cursed so i wanted to understand that i've got index.html in my current folder and uh, then try the hangman to update the code so uh, this is my current code as you can see here okay so okay now it works it is saying my, this is what it is going to update. So it says your HTML content goes here. Okay. That's good to know. Could you describe how would you like to play? Hmm. Uh, a very simple game, please. I don't know if it is the response it wants. Okay. When I say a very simple response, it has to actually write the game here. So I'm not sure if my response was good enough for it. But at least um, now we have got the entire setup working. So this is this is the one. Start a new task. Update my index.html to show welcome to one little coder. Send it. I'm expecting it to for it to update. So I've, oh, this is a problem, right? Um. I wanted it to change the existing one. So let's save it for now, um, something. So ideally what I would have expected it is like the diff is working fine, but I would, what I would have expected it to do is just make a paragraph text, not make the entire change. This is not a controversial dialogue. So as you can see here, the tool usage is kind of the heavy weight that it is asking the open models to bear. So I'm going to start a new task, create, a new um, update the index.html to create a basic HTML CSS JS landing page. Let's see. So I've asked it to update it. And uh, again, uh, my prompt could be misleading because I'm asking it to update one file, asking it to do a bunch of things. Cool. Um, cool. It wants to run it. Cool, run it. So it is also going to run this open a Google Chrome index.html. So it is actually loading my Google Chrome. And as you can see here, it has opened my Google Chrome and it shows welcome to a little coder. So as you saw that it manages to run the terminal command, it uh, manages to do everything. The only catch here is that the open model that we are using is not like really good. 
So one of the ways you can fix it is to use a better open model or the other option is for you to use, let's say models that are fine tuned for uh, coding. So I'm using a general purpose model. That's why my snakey is like quite bad at this point. But the point is it works end to end. And uh, if you have got a little bit of patience, you can probably try this out. The thing is Claude Dev is really good. It's just the model that you connected to it. Um, and then you will have magic happening locally. I hope this uh, rusty tutorial was helpful to you. See you in another video. Happy prompting.